Cal Downs and Casino will offer sports wagering in the near future. Samir Nefsi now in the control room with more on what will change at the casino to accommodate sports betting. Samir. That's right, Jill. Sports wagering is something that's been popping up all around the state. And if the casino wants it, it's going to come out of quite the pretty penny. It's going to be a $10 million fee just for the license. Wednesday morning, the Pennsylvania Gaming and Control Board approving the Presque Isle Downs Casino petition for sports wagering. According to the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board's Doug Herback, the Summit Township Casino will need to facilitate two days of public testing before officially opening sports betting. With the casino soon to be offering the wagering, the sports book, as it will be known, will be 1,275 square foot space located across from the poker room and Simcaster area. In addition, 317 square feet will be dedicated to a self-betting area with 50 kiosks for sports wagering. Sportsbook will also be offering an online and mobile account for wagering. During the presentation to the Gaming Control Board, it was also noted that 69 slot machines will be moved for the renovation. And the casino will also be adding 50 televisions throughout so that you can watch the sporting events live. And they'll also be adding boards for pre-match and live wagering options. Management from the casino and Churchill Downs, who owns the casino, were all in attendance. During the meeting, the casino says it will create about 10 or more new positions. Casino guests will also be able to bet on professional and college sporting teams from football to baseball to hockey and much more. Churchill Down currently offers sports betting at two of their Mississippi locations. Now, the voting today was unanimous. Jill. Okay, Samir Nefsi, thank you.